You will hear me often describe pathological narcissists as lost souls or dark souls. And when we take a look at this from the angle of the clinicians, then they're going to say that they have a personality disorder. And what is the personality? Well, the personality would be a similar equivalent to what we're calling the soul or the psyche. Hence, psychologists study the psyche, which is made up of our mind power, our willpower, and our emotions. So when it comes to narcissists, you're dealing with someone that is living through their ego. And the ego is a mind-made construct. So it is something that they made up, which is why we say that narcissists wear a mask depending on who they are around. So whoever is the pathological narcissist in your life was mirroring you. They adapt their personality like a chameleon to mimic your interests. So when you think about the love bomb, then you technically fell in love with yourself because they were mirroring your personality. You really weren't interacting with the true person. So a simple way to think about human beings or who we are, who am I, is that we're spirit operating a human body with the access to tools such as our mind power, our willpower, and our emotions. So instead of spirit, you could say that we are source, we're source energy, we're light, life, life force. Um, we are the inner being, the observer, prana, consciousness, etc., so pathological narcissists are living predominantly through their ego because they abandon their true selves. So what you are dealing with is a type of dissociation. So they're disconnected from their true selves and most of their energy got diverted into building an ego, which is why you're not dealing with an authentic individual. So if you are the light and you abandon your light, then you are accepting darkness. If you, the light, step out, then darkness steps in. If you, the consciousness, steps out, then unconsciousness steps in. So what you're dealing with is someone that got overpowered by a dark force, a dark energy, demonic energy. So they are a dark soul because if somebody disconnects from their mind, then that means that they are losing their mind because to abandon the self is to disconnect from your soul. Hence, they're lost souls. If somebody abandons themselves, then they're also disconnecting from their emotions, which is why they need you to regulate their emotions for them. Additionally, you're dealing with very impulsive people, so they do not have the ability to control themselves. So essentially, what you're dealing with is a walking black hole. Demonic energy consumes, darkness consumes light, and they are predominantly dark. Spirituality 101, personal development 101 is that we're spirit operating a human body with the access to tools such as our mind power, our willpower, and our emotions. So oftentimes I'll use emotions as a way to explain the darkness that is inside of a pathological narcissist. Which is why you hear me state often that pathological narcissists are rooted in their shame and they are unable to move past their pride. So you should not be looking for positive energy such as courage, love, peace, joy, forgiveness, etc. from a pathological narcissist because they simply do not have that to give to you. What they are filled with are various types of negative emotions. Choose any negative emotion that you are familiar with. So shame, guilt, anger, rage, disdain, etc. They are filled with negativity. They are filled with toxicity. They do not have access to their higher faculties. They do not have access to higher vibration energy. So when we're talking about the energy here, understand that when we talk about shame, it is dysfunctional shame because pathologies is the study of diseases, is the study of a disorder. So they have disordered shame. And shame is a very dangerous emotion to be stuck in because shame tells the self to hide. And pathological narcissists are hiding in their ego. So there is someone that are losing their minds and really most of them have lost their minds. Hence why at one level it is classified as a mental illness. However, you should understand that pathological narcissism, narcissistic personality disorder, including the sociopaths and the psychopaths, that the clinical community is calling um, antisocial personality disorder. They have a psycho-spiritual illness. 
This is because they have accepted an evil spirit or they have been overpowered by an evil spirit. They have been overpowered by darkness at the spirit level. There is no captain on this ship and nature abhors a vacuum. So again, if light steps out, if you, the spirit, step out, then unconsciousness is going to step in. And unconscious energy is what you call demonic energy, darkness, etc. When you say I am, it should be coming from the spirit level. However, when pathological narcissists say I am, it is coming from the mind level because you're dealing with someone that is living through their ego. And this in itself does not make any sense because we're not our egos. We're not our minds. Your mind is a tool that you use to make decisions, just like how a screwdriver is a tool. And if I came on the internet stating that I am a screwdriver, you would think that I have a couple of screws loose. This is why you cannot love a narcissist and they cannot love you back. You do not have access to the true them. You are dealing with their false self. They are living in a delusional reality. They are living in an alternate dimension. Beings, we manifest from the non-physical to the physical. And what I mean by that is you're mostly not physical. You cannot touch your spirit. You cannot touch your emotions. You cannot touch your mind. And it is important to understand that your mind is not the brain. The brain is a physical organ that is a part of the body. Your mind is non-physical and your mind consists of the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. So you are mostly not physical. So you create from the non-physical to the physical, meaning that you, the spirit, use your mind to make decisions and then you act that out in the physical realm. And that is the key point. You, the spirit, should be using your mind to make decisions. However, narcissists believe that they are their mind. So you're dealing with someone that is losing their minds. And not only losing their minds, you're dealing with lost souls. Hence, they have a personality disorder. Again, at an emotional level is someone that is unable to move past their pride. They're rooted in shame and they're unable to move past their pride. And people that are stuck in their pride, that are rooted in their pride, do not see anything wrong with their behavior. So you're dealing with someone that is stuck in the third dimension. They're stuck in victim abuser consciousness. So any relationship that you get into with them, whether this is a parental relationship or an intimate relationship or a business relationship, is going to be a victim abuser type one. Pathological narcissists do not see people as their equals. They want to be above you. So if they are the abuser, then you're going to be the victim. They want to be master, so you are going to be slave. Simply put, people that are stuck in suffering, that are stuck in misery, that are stuck in hell and purgatory will also want you there with them because misery loves company. Additionally, they are not able to ascend, so you must descend. You must lower your vibration. You must lower your standards to get down here in victim abuser consciousness with them. If you appreciate the content, please give us a like, share, and subscribe, and go ahead and save the videos. And if you have any questions or feedback, go ahead and leave them in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next video.